we move too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be a little shaky, but it's going to be all right. We're looking forward to this one. It's the Quitman Bulldogs and the Harmony Eagles. Quitman 9 and 15 on the season, and Harmony 19 and 5. And in district play, Harmony is undefeated. They're 8 0 in district, just knocked off Winsboro twice last week. And for Quitman, they are 4 and 4 in district play, actually tied with Mineola. Uh, for that fourth spot, and we found out that next week it will be the Battle of Highway 37 between Quitman and Mineola. So big games next week. But if if Quitman can still win here against yep. Harmony, that puts them in a better position next week going in against those games against Mineola. I agree. And, um, I mean, who knows what's going to come out between uh, Mineola and Quitman. You but never they're know. over that fourth spot, though. Yeah, that's better for that fourth spot. But as you can see, Harmony 8-0. And I'm going to uh, – Go out on a limb, Jeremy, and yep. say that they've basically already clinched the district. Hear me out. Because, uh -huh. well, if they win this week, they can clinch it. Because the if Winsboro, after this week, if they win both games against Quitman, uh -huh. Harmony could essentially clinch district. Same thing we talked about with Reigns last week. Because there would be two games left, even if Harmony lost both of them and Winsboro won both of them. Harmony would own the tiebreaker. It would be essentially impossible for them <coughs> to lose it because right. of the tiebreaker. But yeah. in order to do that, got to win both games this week. So True. Um, looking forward to this one. It's our first time seeing the Quitman Bulldogs this year. New head coach for Quitman, Brandon Rogers, the new head coach for the Quitman Bulldogs. He came over from Pittsburgh. So um, coming from a 4A over in uh, Pittsburgh, coming down here to 3A in Quitman. Interested. Uh, been kind of up and down year for Quitman. They uh, Tommy Drinkwine, yep. one of the one of the better players for Quitman. He had a, an injury, so he hadn't been uh, been able to pitch like he normally has, as we've seen in years past. So they're kind of hurting a little bit there, and, and a little bit of a younger squad. But interested to see how they do against uh, Harmony today. We've only been able to see Harmony once. We tried to see them three other times, uh, and weather affected all that. Oh. Well, not just what. Well, Unfortunate yeah, circumstances. Yeah, let's just call it that. Um, <laughs> anyway, we tried that. Uh, so it's only our, our second time seeing them. But the last time we saw them, Jeremy, it's that, kind of the same old Harmony team that we've seen these past three or four years. They they can all hit, and they got good pitching and defense behind them. And they're consistent. That's been the biggest key. And any time we've usually seen Harmony struggle is they hurt themselves. They usually mm -hmm. are inflicting errors on themselves, not necessarily the other team causing them, and therefore that's usually how we see them go down in a game is because of that. Right. Oh, goodness, I forgot about that guy being right there. <laughs> well, I, well it, they hadn't been playing music out of it, so I didn't think it worked. But it, evidently this is for the, the audio, like the vocals, and that's for the, the music down there. <laughs> Either way, we always uh, somehow come up with this. want to give a shout-out to Azalea Orthopedics. They are our sponsor for tonight's game. And, Jeremy, big thing happened in this weekend. Uh -huh. um, the Azalea Orthopedics All-Star Game for basketball is this weekend at the Wagstaff Gymnasium. Yes, sir. And I will be there. Yes, NetSN will be there because NetSN will be broadcasting all the events. There's a girls game at 5.30. Then in between the girls and guys games, there's going to be a three-point competition and a slam dunk competition. And then after that will be the boys' all-star game. Okay. And our very own, I say our very own, Rain's own very own, uh, Coach Laura Jenkins is coaching one of the teams. And we'll actually see J.C. Campbell, I believe, is playing. Yeah. And uh, Haley Robertson, I believe, is also playing nice. in those games. So. Anyway, that's this Saturday. Will we see a KO three-pointer? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. We're in for a treat. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, but that's right uh, fielder, that's going to be Morgan. fun, so make sure you uh, check that out this Saturday. If you ain't got Number nothing six, else to do, come out to the Mason, WAG on the campus step. of TJC and, and check the game out. But if you can't make it Number and you want to watch some hoops, Mason, then Kane just tune in to uh, YouTube, Net us in Live, and we'll have all the coverage for you. I think I'm going to be doing some sideline reporting. There you go. Um, get my David Alder well, that, job. That's yeah. why I was wondering if you were going to be able to shoot a three because you're going to be out there on the floor. So I might not. I have to. And you'll know some kids, you know some coaches. Why not pull one? I have to. I mean, actually, and, and see, 10, this is the beautiful thing about me working Jack at KLTV now. The Tatum head coach, Brett Carr, yeah. the boys number coach, 11, he's a coach for one of the boys teams. I actually got to meet him this year There you go. through KLTV going yeah. out there and shooting some of the Tatum games. So coaches I'll know him now. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You'll, you'll have plenty of people you know, so they should at least let you one three. One he, three. he probably won't remember me. I don't know but, how to dunk, though, but maybe one three. No, I can't dunk unless they put a trampoline <laughs> down there for me. Uh, that ain't going to happen. Uh, but they're announcing starting lineups here uh, it, at Eagle Field here in Harmony. But wanted to tell you about that on uh, Saturday, so make sure you come and check it out. And a big shout-out once again to Azalea Orthopedics. They are uh, – yeah, you feel the rumble right up here? A little Jeremy? bit. Now, the weather tonight, as you can see on the screen, it looks very ominous back there in the behind center field. But it's really not that bad. little muggy. 
A little muggy, but it's not too bad. I think the mist we got when we first got here and we're setting everything up, I think it's made uh, things a little humid. A little humid. A little bit. A little bit. Um, but it's a, it's a good night. It's a good night for some soft uh, baseball. There you go. Uh, 75 degrees, it says. And if you've never, if you're new to the broadcast and you don't know much about Harmony, let me tell you. Harmony is not a place. I mean, Number it's nine. not a city. Technically, it is a place, <laughs> but it's not a city. There you go. Um, the city is technically Roansboro, yep. is uh, where we're at. But we're in between Gilmer and Big Sandy, and it depends. It, the school has a Big Sandy address, but they go by Gilmer Harmony in, like, Dave Campbell's and all that. Yeah. So it's Harmony. Although, if you look them up, uh, I can't, one of the other sports. Big Sandy are, Harmony. Yes. Yeah. It has them listed for Big Sandy. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Or number four, Braylon Metter. Yeah. Pops uh, Pops is tuned in. He's number he's making seven, sure we look and sound good. He said maybe a, a little more on the first base side. He, number 11, I'm, I'm going to explain it to him, Jeremy. We're, it's, Pops, it's, it's difficult. Cooper We're, Pickett. We That's almost, all the way zoomed out. Yeah, number we almost 13, can't zoom Jason the camera Horn. out far enough. We're almost too close. Number 15, <laughs> to We're up in the air, but too close. Yeah. But, I mean, number ooh, one, could we? Spencer. No, that won't reach i was no. gonna say we could move the camera back something but anyway we'll work with it this is the best we got oh that says 13-3-a softball it should be 13-3-a baseball let's change that right quick because we'll i put that up there who? coaches are henson excuse me Whitaker, easy and sorry let's uh did you notice that pops stand, notice that. Caps i did for the oh. national <laughs> time for national anthem here on net SEO. All right. It's going to be a shaky night yeah. if you're watching us on YouTube, but it's going to be a good one. We're excited to bring you this one. Just take the ride with us. That's right. Kale Kyle Owens alongside JT Jeremy Titsworth here at Eagle Field in Roansboro on the campus of Harmony High School, getting you ready for this 13-3A baseball matchup between these two squads. Uh, Jeremy, I still can't. Yeah, but Pop, Pops was able to find it easy. I did too. I can't. I don't know why I'm There's not. something with your computer, man. But even when I try to... From your phone? Still didn't work? Well, even when I click oh, that, I don't you know, know what I mean? I don't know what's I going on. I found it. Just typed it in. Even when I type it in there, nothing. Hmm. I don't know what's it going on. It didn't even pull up any of the live games because remember I showed you all the upcoming stuff too. I know. So hmm. I will not be able to see anything. Uh, Do you want me to pull it back up on this? No, you're fine. Oh, okay. No, you're fine. Anyway, let's, uh, get, let's talk about this game. Let's do it. Let's talk about this game. Let me just sign out of this, all this all together. I don't need any of that up. That's all I need. All right. Let's get you the starting lineup for the Quitman Bulldogs. They're going to be the visiting team here tonight. Batting first, playing shortstop, number one, Davis Watson. Batting second, the designated hitter, number five, Tommy Drinkwine. Batting third, in right field, number 16, Johnny Mulliken. Batting fourth, playing second base, number six, Peyton Sapp. Batting fifth, at first base, number two, Cannon Peppers. Batting sixth, and pitching tonight, number nine, Weston Pence. Batting seventh behind the plate and uh, behind the plate, number four, O'Croc. Cam Crockett. There it is. 
And batting eighth in left, left field, number 10, Jax Wilson. And rounding out the nine in center field is number 11, Clayton Meadows. Now for the Harmony Eagles in the field, left field, you got Hart, center field, Young, right field, Tittle. First base, Wilkerson. Second base, Trimble. Shortstop, Seahorn. Third base, Ryder. Behind the plate is old BB, Braxton Baker. And in on the mound tonight, Hayden Johnson. If, and me and Jeremy, we were talking about this. We've seen Harmony the past four or five years yep. um, in baseball. And we Ladies believe this is our first time seeing Hayden Brown Johnson Davis. pitch. Weston. We may have seen him in some relief duty, but right. we're not quite sure on that. But. Not 100% sure, but either way, we're going to get to see him tonight. And it's 7.07 on your Tuesday evening. Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. It's a What's Up Brother Tuesday. Hayden Johnson, the lefty first pitch, is in there for strike one. And we are underway here at Eagle Field with a strike from Hayden Johnson. Johnson wasting no time going right at him. You love to see it. Mm-hmm. Jake Ryder playing on the grass at third base. And that's hit towards first. It's going to be fielded smoothly by Wilkerson. A little toss over to Johnson. And the three to one put out nice for the first out of the, out of the ball game. One down. You'll take it. That'll bring up. You will take it. Drink wine the eight. Now, you're probably wondering, Jeremy, yes, why sir. is Tucker Tittle not pitching tonight? Tuesday's usually his pitch day. Uh huh. Well, with all the. Uh, he needed extra rest? Uh, yeah, because he pitched Thursday. Ah. So he had to get some extra rest. Jeremy, can you turn that camera just a little bit to the left? Oh, too much. That's th that's fine. That's about that's all we're going to get, brother. That's good. We're going to get there. Nice off-speed pitch to drink wine and catches the outside corner for strike one. That's what Pops was saying. He said there was a little too much room on the, on the first base side. I had him in the middle, but with all the shaking, it may have moved. That's fine. That's what we're going to have to be in, uh, worried about here, Jeremy, is those foul balls. I'm behind this. What are you talking about? I am not. <laughs> um, that foul ball was <laughs> right You better be quick. Net. So well, we'll talk about it after this pitch. But I'm a little nervous. The 0-2. That's fouled off to the left side and out of play. So we are above the canopy. So, like, there's a canopy here that's protecting the stands underneath yes. us. We're above that. So any foul ball, we have no protection from foul balls on anything that's fouled back behind us, except Jeremy has a speaker that's right in front of him. The 0-2. That's fouled off to the left side once. Oh, off the light. That Heads was up. nice. Nice. I bet you can't do that again. At least it didn't actually hit one of the lights. No. I mean, that's, that's a positive. Hit, hit the outside of the light, but it still hit the light. So Hayden Johnson yet to throw a ball tonight. The 0-2. Ooh, Ooh what nasty. a nasty pitch right there. Got Drinkwine looking for strike three. What a pitch, Jeremy. That was some type of movement. I'm going to tell you right now, that's one reason why I like being right here, though, because we saw every bit of that movement. Man, that was nasty. So two away now, top of the first. It's going to bring up the right fielder, Johnny Mulliken, for the equipment Bulldogs. Johnson, first pitch. Outside, and there's the first ball of the game. Eventually, you knew he had to throw one. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> With Angel Hernandez behind the plate, you never know. This is not Angel Hernandez, but just saying. That's in there. Strike one. There's a couple of uh, baseballs sitting in this canopy that have... And the canopy is a little worse for wear over there on the right side. That's that looked like low. the same pitch, but I was going to say the canopy uh seen better days. It has seen better days. <laughs> Two balls, one strike to Mulligan. Oh, Braxton framed that one. It looked like it was, it was a little out. outside. I know from up here, it looked like we it was can, out. <laughs> I do like sitting up here. I can see nice up here. It's not great for the camera, but. Braxton, let me pull that back in. Yeah. 2-2 two -two pitch. Off speed. That caught the corner. What a beautiful pitch by and Hayden Johnson. And he looks to be on tonight, Jeremy. And we could be in for a fun one from Hayden Johnson. I like it. Three up, three down. Go the equipment Bulldogs. It'll be Harmony's turn when we come back here on NetSN.
Welcome back here to Eagle Field on the campus of Harmony High School. We are headed to the bottom of the first inning. Let's go ahead and get you the starting lineup for the Harmony Eagles here. Batting first, playing shortstop, number five, Boston Seahorn. Batting second in center field, number two, Will Young. Batting third in right field, number three, Tucker Tittle. Batting fourth and catching, number 17, Braxton Baker. Batting fifth and pitching, number 12, Hayden Johnson. Batting sixth at first base, number nine, Lathan Wilkerson. Batting seventh in left field, number eight, Blaine Hart. Batting eighth at third base, number 16, Jake Ryder. And the nine-hole hitter, second baseman, number 10, Ollie Trimble. And in the field for Quitman, you have Wilson in left, Meadows in center, Mulliken in right, Peppers at first, Sapp at second, Watson at short, Jonas Prather at third, Cam Crockett behind the plate, and Weston Pence is on the mound tonight for the Quitman Bulldogs. And it'll be Boston. Number five, Seahorn gets us started in the bottom of the first. Also, Jeremy, wanted to uh, mention, you see the little 10 next to uh, Harmony's number out here, ranked 10th in the state in 3A, the Harmony Eagles. Oh, I had to look closely. My, my screen's a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Boston steps in. I like the Harmony uniforms, the black and red pinstripes. That's to keep people distracted. Yeah. Well, it's working. It's got me distracted. <laughs> All right, I think we're ready now for the first pitch from Weston Pence. Okay. It is ball one. I mean, he would line. All right, then. It's a talkative. Now, remember, we, the Harmony games we do, the Harmony bit, uh, dugout is a little talkative. They are. Which is good. I mean, it's you don't see it much in baseball. It's quiet out here at these baseball games. The 1-0. It's a strike on the outside corner. Boston looks at it. I think I'd have looked at that one, too. Make him throw you a strike. It Especially if you're the leadoff. It hitter. looked a little close. It was a 50-50 call. One ball, one strike. That's hit right back up the middle, but nice fielding job by Watson. It's short. Fires across and gets the out. Six, six to three put out for out number one. Nice play by the shortstop. That'll bring up number two, yes, it was. Will Young. So now the center fielder, Will Young, will step into the box. I really thought Boston was going to beat that one out. He got the speed to do it. He does. <laughs> it's a nice play by Watson over there at short, though. Will Young steps in from the left side now. The ball one chant, nobody? Hmm. Nope, not on this one. First pitch is skied to the left. Watson's going to settle under it. And that's a pop out to Watson. It's short for out number two. So quick work of Will Young there as he's first pitch swinging. And here comes Tucker Tittle, our boy Tuck. Anytime you hear us say, talk about harmony and we talk about our boy Tuck. Yep, there this he is. is him. You had to talk to uh, Papa Tittle earlier, didn't you? Yeah. Talked to old Chris down there in the press box a while ago. He may can hear us. Hey, Chris. Hey. <laughs> First pitch to Tuck. That's a strike on the outside corner. And it is Weston Pence trying to match what Hayden Johnson did here in the uh, top half of the first inning, trying to get a 1-2-3 inning for his equipment Bulldog squad. I don't even matter. He's calling the outside pitch. Yeah, one. In the dirt. One ball and one strike to Tuck. A little chirping going on around the field. Not a lot, though. 1-1. One, one. It's outside. Ball two. We don't have dimensions here in Harmony, Jeremy, but they do have, a. as you can see on the screen. I got to forget. I forget that now we have video. Um... A little elevated wall in center field, though, right where the American flag is. 2-1 pitch. Tuck hits that towards second base, and Sapp fields it on a couple hops, a wide throw, and his foot comes off the bag. About six inches from the bag. I know they can see it. I don't know if it was close, but. Tittle reaches on the air by the second baseman. Yep, that's going to be an E4 on Peyton Sapp. That's yes, going to put Tuck on first base. And you hope, if you're a Quitman fan, that that doesn't come back to bite you here, but you have a big bat of Braxton Baker stepping into the box, and you just gave Harmony an extra out here in this inning. Not what you needed. And that's the thing about playing second base, Jeremy, is yep. you're, you're the closest one to first base. You don't have to rush the throw. You have more time than anyone in the infield to make sure you get it over there. It and I think, that way. I think Sapp just kind of rushed it just a tad. But here comes Braxton to the plate now, and 
Pence is going to have to work out of the stretch for the first time tonight. First pitch to Braxton is taken for strike one. I didn't think about it that way, but yeah, you're right. You're the uh, shortest distance, so. Of course I am, Jeremy. Shouldn't doubt you. Should never doubt me. Well. <laughs> no balls in one strike. Pence taking his time out there on the mound. Checks the runner a few times. Tuck goes. Braxton swings. Hits it to third. Fielded over at third by Prather. And that is a clean throw across the diamond for the third and final out. We are through one inning here at Eagle Field, and it's 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll be right back for the second inning here on NetSN. Welcome back here to Eagle Field on the campus of Harmony High School. We're 0 0 headed to the second inning. This canopy net over here looks like it's uh, been around about as long as Curtis Grimes uh, has been in school, or since Curtis Grimes has been in school. And we knew someone else that played with Curtis Grimes out here. We sure did, Jake Atchley. And he probably helped hang it. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Union Grove, Chad Holcomb. Yeah. He yeah. played for him too. So uh, Harmony made it to state in 2003, state finalist. I was trying to see what year is that out there. Leading the state the champs, the you see it? Yeah, it's on the down. side. Of, it's on that uh, dugout thing over there on the right. I just can't see it. Oh. Um, either way, though. Either way. Do up here for Quitman, Peyton Sapp, Cannon Peppers, and Weston Pence, the 4-5-6 against Hayden Johnson, who had a phenomenal first inning for Harmony. Two strikeouts looking to end the inning. First pitch to Sapp is fouled out of play to the right side. Headache. It's not a bad idea for equipment first pitch swinging because the previous set of batters he faced, they were all strikes. Yeah, he first pitch strikes uh, to every batter tonight so far. Mm. Mm. Got sap to go out for that one. Strike like two. Nice cut at it, though. This is not where you want to be against Hayden Johnson. No. We have seen his strikeout pitch is working. The 0-2. That's gas on the outside corner. Strike three looking. Three Ks tonight for Hayden Johnson, and all three of them looking. And that's three in a row. He uh, had a ground out to first to Davis Watson, and then he struck out Drinkwine, Mulliken, and Sap. You know, I'm not mad at that, though, for him looking, because he thought he was going to make him chase again. Mm -hmm. But, man, kudos to Johnson. Come back inside paint in the corner. Cannon Peppers now steps in, and that's high and inside for ball one. Only the third ball of the night thrown by Hayden Johnson so far through 15 pitches. That's a uh, 30. Nope. Yeah, nope. Nope. 20% of the time. There's a strike. Inside corner. And that was actually the first batter tonight that Johnson has started off with a ball. Wasn't a first pitch strike. Which is a little too high. 1-1. One, one. Squares around a bunt. Ducks under it. It's ball two. I got to show you a little, little league video I saw on TikTok the other day about something like that. 2-1. That's hit in play to right field, and Tucker Tittle going to come on and squeeze it. He calls off second baseman, and he squeezes that for out number two. And here comes the pitcher, Weston Pence, to the plate. So there was a Little League game, and the batter 
like got up there, squared around a bunt, and then just stayed squatted down the <laughs> entire time. And so the pitch fight came like it would have been normal chess level, but it was obviously over his head. Umpire called it a strike. And the kid was like, what? <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Trying to fight the system there. Weston Pence, first pitch swinging. Going over to his right is Trimble, and Trimble can't get it out of his glove. glove. It's stuck in his glove. Wow. You don't see that often. I mean, do you call that an error if it's stuck in his glove? Yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate, but it's still an error. I mean, he couldn't get it out of his glove. He kept reaching for it. That was funny. Yeah, Ollie Trimble, an unfortunate error right there. It wasn't really an error. As we're going to have a courtesy runner coming in for equipment. It's number 15, Mikey Pickering. So Pickering's going to be running for Weston Pence. But, yeah, that ball was hit to second, Dang. and uh, Trimble made a good backhand stab at it, and it just got, got, stuck, it in, it got stuck in the web. So, <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunately an error. I mean, how is – I mean, I don't know how – like, I mean, I, get, I guess it is an error, but – It's an unfortunate, unfortunate. one. Yep. This one of those things that just happened. Is It is Cam Crockett that steps in there, and it's strike one to Cam. Oh, is that what you were wondering? Sorry. Well, okay. yeah. Well, I, well, I was came to put on some muscle. He wasn't that uh, because that's when he stepped in the box. I was like, that ain't the cam that I remember seeing. You know well, what I mean? I mean, last time we saw him was a couple years, years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're right. Sorry. Sorry. Still though, he's put on some put on some muscle. That's low ball one. And we're wondering off air if he still has the uh, WWE Championship <laughs> belt that we saw. Cannot confirm nor deny whether he has it or not. We used to see him show up at those basketball games with it. <laughs> yeah. Those basketball games at, at Ballard Gym are fun. It's so loud in there. Oh, Cam swings and misses at that one for strike two. So runner on first with two away. And Hayden Johnson ahead in the count. One ball, two strikes. Looking for his fourth punch out of the night. He has three strikeouts, all of them looking. The one-two pitch from Johnson. Whew, just outside. Ball two. BB tried to frame it. He tried. That one was a little too far, though. He said, no, it's right here. It's right here. Moved it over. Two balls and two strikes. And that's a, a breaking ball that... Gets Cam swinging the for the third and final out. So fourth punch out of the night for Hayden Johnson. We are still tied at zero as we head to the bottom half of the second inning here from Eagle Field on NetSN. Back here at Eagle Field on the campus of Harmony. <laughs> Due up here for the Harmony Eagles, it's Late the 567 of, the of Hayden Johnson, Lathan it's Wilkerson, Hayden and Blaine Johnson. Hart. So Hayden Johnson is dealing on the mound tonight. Let's see if he can uh, help himself out here at the plate. I need you to put your other trumpets back in there. Which? Oh, got you. You know what I'm talking about. Narcos? Yeah. Got you. <laughs> I mean, 
I mean, that's the name of a song. I know what that word actually means. Name, anyway. Hayden Johnson stepping in. Timmy Trumbert. Uh, Diaz, Edward Diaz, Edwin yeah. Diaz. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. But I don't want to get copyright strikes. That's what I'm ah. avoiding. Ah, ah, yeah. Old Timmy, Tr old Timmy Trumps. Yeah. Copyright true, true, me true, quick. True. Ooh, fouled off by Hayden Johnson. Battled it away. Battled it. Battled it. I, I, it's it, you know, Jeremy. It's almost like you're at a, a professional game. You got to be alert for foul balls. It's true. Depends on where you sit, though. Well, we are in prime territory. It's true. One one. That's hit, and that's a base hit through the first base and second base hole over there. It's the first base hit of the ball game for either team. And there goes Hayden Johnson helping himself out by getting on base to begin the inning. And I'll bring up the first baseman, number nine, Lathan Wilkerson. We were talking about his brother, Landon Wilkerson, uh, pregame. Yes. We were talking about all the harmony pitchers that we've seen pitch, and we've seen Landon in some relief work. He's graduated. Now we have Now Lathan. we have Lathan. Johnson with his lead at first. Weston Pence comes set. First pitch. And it's a bunt by Wilkerson, and it's going to be fielded over at third by Prather. And Prather will fire over to first to get the out. So a good job of Wilkerson to bunt over Johnson. So the sack bunt. Did his heart. Did his heart. Did his job, though. Heart's coming up the bat. <laughs> did his job, though. Wilkerson did. He did. And then now with one away and a runner in scoring position, it brings up the left fielder, Blaine Hart. Time's called by Cam Crockett. He's going to trot out there and talk to his pitcher, Weston Pence. We got a few more games going on tonight on NetSN, Jeremy. I'm trying to remember them off the top of my head because I obviously cannot find them on the channel. Um, you you talk about something else. I'll pull them up for you. I got you. Well, I I got you. We got Center versus Gilmer, Bullard versus Rusk, and Shelbyville versus Beckville in softball. The other two were in baseball. Shelbyville and Beckville are going on right now. Yes. Hey, Vicky Cox is uh, watching us on YouTube. She has commented on my uh, video or on my Facebook post and said thank you. I cannot access the YouTube video, so if uh, you leave a comment, I'll check it afterwards. <laughs> did, did I miss a pitch? Has there already been a ball throw? Yeah, it was a ball a while ago. Okay. Look at me talking. One ball and no strikes to Blaine Hart. Hart skies that one to center field. Meadows going back. He's going to settle under it in middle center field. Johnson fakes like he's tagging up and goes nowhere. Excellent job after the meeting of Pence to get Blaine Hart to fly out to center. Up, and it'll bring up Jake the third Ryder. baseman, number 16, Jake Ryder. You're good. You're good. You're good. Thanks, buddy. You're good. I was trying to pull it up for you. I appreciate you. Jake Ryder up with two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. We just had our first base hit to begin the inning. It was Hayden Johnson. He's out there at second. A sacrifice bunt got him over to second base. Blaine Hart then flew out. Now it's up to Jake Ryder to keep this inning alive for the Eagles. And Jake tips it to foul for strike one. Twenty-one watching, brother. It's not bad. Thank you all for uh, watching. Make sure, if you're watching, to subscribe to the YouTube channel, NetSN Live. Stay up to date with all the games and action from all over East Texas. Also, make sure you download the NetSN app. You can get push notifications to let you know when games are live. You can also set it up to where certain teams, you'll get notifications about them if you mention them in a podcast or something. It's really cool. You should check it out. The 01. Ryder hits that one to right center field. Meadows on his horse, and it drops. And Johnson rounds third, and he's going to come in to score. An RBI single for Jake Ryder. And Jake Harmony Ryder. takes a one nothing lead here in the bottom half of the second Next inning. Number 10, Ollie I got it cooking now. I was worried if it was going to drop or not, but kind of well, no man's land out there. Yeah, and that's, the, uh, that's why that sacrifice bunt was so important. If Johnson's still at first, he doesn't score on that. So now the nine-hole hitter, Ollie Trimble, 
will come up to bat with a runner at first and two away and a one nothing lead for the Harmony Eagles. Weston Pence checks the runner. He's not being held over at first, though. And balls outside. But that goes back to the old cliche. How many times we say it, manufacture runs any yeah. way you can. Well, and that's, yeah, they did an excellent job of that. Jeremy, looking around, yeah. it looks like rain is all around us and just not yeah, here. Yeah, looking through the woods I, over here. And I mean, then back behind, look, if you look crazy. back behind you to the right. Yeah. <laughs> that one's high and outside ball, too. I'll take it. Little dry I, spot right here. I'll I've, take it. I've checked the radar 15 times tonight or today, and all the all the radar show no rain. But it sh how it sure does look like it. It looks like it's going to come down at any moment, and we are not protected by anything up here. 2-0. Oh, see? That's fouled back out of play to our right. Right oh, to the Kona? Okay, missed everybody. Past the Kona ice over there. <laughs> it missed everybody. But uh, that's what I'm talking about, Jeremy. That could easily just come, you know, right at us right here. So we'll have to see. Yeah, and if you're watching the YouTube video, share it. Share the link. Get it out there. Yeah, put it out there. Share it with the people you know everywhere. <laughs> Two balls and one strike. Just misses and runner goes, and that's going to be an extra base swipe there by Jake Ryder. And here's the uh, – that's smart base running there, Jeremy. Getting in scoring position, we just saw, again, manufacturing runs. I'm kind of surprised there that Quitman didn't try to stop the, the steal going. Yeah, they just kind of stood there and watched it like, okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but the man was stealing the base. That's what was going on. Three balls and one strike now to Trimble. Pence checks the runner. Trimble rips that one to deep left field, but getting under it is Wilson. And he'll make the grab for the final out of the After inning. But Harmony, Harmony does get a run here in the bottom of the second. So we're headed to the third inning, and it's one nothing Harmony here on NetSN. Welcome back here to Eagle Field on the campus of Harmony. Kyle's up here trying to two-step. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling people why the camera's shaking as it's... It ain't, it ain't, no, it ain't because of that. It ain't because of that. In the top of the third, number 10, Wilson. All right, do up here for the Quitman Bulldogs. It's the 891, Jax Wilson. Clayton Meadows and Davis Watson against Hayden Johnson here, who is still dealing. He's allowed one base runner, but that base runner was on an error. And so he's allowed no hits so far with four Ks through seven batters. Jax Wilson's going to try his turn. He got the final out of the second inning. He'll lead off the third here. And he swings at the first pitch. It's grounded. Seahorn's going to have to come up on it. Fires across the diamond. Nice snag at first by Wilkerson. And nice it's a six to three put out for out number one. How many times have we seen that? Boston being deep in the hole, Meadows. running up, making a throw across his body. It's, it's like it's, routine for him. It's about as common as the cold. <laughs> 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 
Clayton yes. Meadows is going to step in now, the center fielder for the Bulldogs. He's the nine-hole hitter. The first, he's the uh, only person to not bat against Hayden Johnson tonight so far. And he takes strike one. And watches the first pitch come across as a strike, like everybody else, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I think it's only in. That one's, that's a high chopper, but it's going to be foul. Um, I think there's only been one batter that he didn't start with a strike. One yeah, or two. It was a little high pitch. Yeah. He's quickly ahead of Meadows. No balls, two strikes. We were talking about um, Meadows. I remember him from football Yep. when we covered some equipment football games. He's a good athlete. Man, that's been a minute. 0-2. Ooh, that breaking ball started way outside and never got back to the plate. It barely got back to the batter's box. Until it slipped out of his hand. Yeah, and he's already ready right back to go. One, two. That's fouled off. Headache on the tennis courts. They hit the tree. Okay, good. And deflected the tree. Because those kids on that tennis court, they are not playing a lick of attention to a foul ball that could be coming right their direction. I will tell there is one thing, though. Yeah? Some of them got tennis rackets. They can defend <laughs> themselves. <laughs> Breaking ball misses. Ball two. It's a good eye by Clayton Meadows. Johnson wanted Meadows to go after that one, and Meadows said, na nah. na nah. Tell them who game it is. Clayton Meadows. <laughs> yeah. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. That's outside. Man. Our first full count okay. of the night. Three balls and two strikes to Clayton Meadows. A good job of batting here by Meadows of staying alive and battling off some Waste pitches that Johnson was trying to get him to swing at. Here's the payoff pitch. And Meadows hits that one towards Wilkerson at first. He's going to keep it himself. He says, Johnson, I got this. Steps on the bag. The Don't three worry about it. unassisted put out. For the second out. Back to the top equipment. Number one, Watson. I'm not even going to say anything. He said everything I was going to say. Back to the top. Number one, Watson. Davis Watson going to lead things off. Nope. He's going to come up to bat here with two away. There you go. In the third inning. As you can see on your screen. As you can see on your screen. I'm in radio mode thinking I got to tell you everything. <laughs> you don't. It's, it's real hazy here tonight, though. You, I'm, hey, it's a clear pocket right where we are. I appreciate that. I know. I know. Just uh, Oh, I got oh, it. Oh. Oh, that's oh, a foul ball. Hey, good catch down there. I really thought that was coming up here. I did, too. I got a little nervous. I thought I was going to have a souvenir. I wouldn't have to throw it back. I'm not throwing it back if I catch one. <laughs> it's my souvenir, dadgummit. The L1 has swung and missed for strike two. Jeremy, this uh, will be also at a game on Thursday, not yes. Friday. Not Friday. Thursday, Thursday. night. Thursday, yes. We'll be live in Emory for senior night for the Reigns Lady Cats as they go. take on the Lone Oak Lady Buffs. A few seniors on that team. The O2. Mm, he almost we went. thought about it. Yeah, a few seniors on that team. And. Um, we have a special relationship with the Oaks family over there. Followed Chanley all four years of her high school career, and then we followed Cambo all four years of her high school career. So we're going to get to see both senior nights. It's there pretty awesome. Yeah. The one-two. No, he, he missed that one. He missed that one. Braxton tried to frame it up, but just couldn't get it back to the plate in time. Two balls and two strikes to Davis Watson. Johnson looking for his fifth punch out if he can get Watson here. Does. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, and I almost knocked my I know I saw top off. Wow. Of the of the okay. Don't be doing that. That man. was a strikeout looking for the uh, third and final out of the inning. We're headed to the bottom of the third. It's Harmony One and Quitman Zero here on Net SN.
All right, welcome back here to Eagle Field on the campus of Harmony High School. Bottom of the third inning, one nothing Harmony. They broke through Bottom last third, inning after three. a leadoff Bottom single by Hayden Johnson. Play. He was uh, brought in by Jake Ryder on an RBI single. Do up for the Eagles here in the top or bottom half of the third. It's the top of the order. Boston Seahorn, Will Young, and Tucker Tittle against Weston Pence. Top of the order. Top of the order to you. Seahorn grounded out to short in his first at bat. That one's in the dirt <laughs> for ball one. I heard somebody say chicken fried chicken, and that sounds really good. Chicky fried chicky. Uh-oh. No, nah, I was just some spit. No, the sky's spitting on us, man. The sky's <laughs> spitting on us. One ball and no strikes here to Seahorn. That is hit towards right field, and Mulliken settles under it and squeezes it for out number one. So Seahorn 0 for 2 tonight. Not often you see Seahorn go 0 for 2 in a, in a two, ball game. Will Young. Will Young coming up to bat now. He has popped out to short his first time up to bat. No, and I was going to say, um, could be some pitches that Pence is throwing at him, but uh, Boston will go, and if Will does the same thing, they're uh, skying the ball instead of keeping it on the ground. Yeah, using their speed. Yep. Will Young grounds that to first. Now, he kept it. Wait, fa why does he say foul ball? Why is he saying foul, but he's saying... Why is the umpire saying it's a fair ball? And that one says foul, though. The home plate umpire called it fair. He did. The, the first, first base, base called it foul. foul. Yeah. Hit his foot. Hit off his foot? As he swung it, hit off his foot. That's what they're saying. Okay, so All that's right, going to go down as a foul. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Not arguing. <laughs> no balls in one strike. <laughs> I mean, we can't do nothing from up here. But uh, that's interesting. It is what it is. I mean, the 0 1 pitch. <laughs> that's not going to help the uh, equipment fans any. That is a ball. Near. 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 One ball and one strike <clears throat> to Will Young. Sharply hit down the left field line, but foul. Fair ball? Oh, no, sorry, foul. My bad. No, it hit off his foot. Oh, okay. I it, just want to make sure. I got it's foul. Clar hit off, clarification. On hit off one. its foot, so it's foul, Jeremy, okay. obviously. I, I just want to make sure clarification. <laughs> you know, consistency is all I ask for. <laughs> one ball and two strikes. <laughs> To Will Young, one out here in the third inning, bottom of the third. One, two pitch. It's outside, ball two. You know, Jeremy, this camera can't be any worse than what we had last year when we would hang it on the net and the net True. would be swinging. Can't True. be any worse than that. At least you can it's see really, what's going on. It's really not that it's bad. It's really not that bad. No, it's when people, you get movement down there, it's when it, everything or, or, starts shaking. Or up here, and I can't stop moving. Two, two. Can't stop, won't stop. That's hit towards second base. Sap fields it. Sidearm toss to first, and that's the second out of the inning. So the first, the, look, Weston Pence has done a good job with the top of the order. Boston Seahorn and Will Young, who are known as getting on base, they have high Usually, on base yeah. percentages. They're 0 for 4 tonight. So Weston Pence has done a good job with that. Tucker Tittle now coming up. This is uh, where Sap made a little errant throw back in the first inning, and Tuck reached space on the error. But he's back batting up now. Mm. There you go. Try uh, it again. Nope. No? Not even going to try okay. it. Ball one. We're just moving on like it never happened. Huh. I'm sure we got some, uh, there may be some watchers from the equipment area. And if so, they Possibly. may, they may uh, recognize the, the voices in their heads <laughs> and on their screens. <laughs> Speaking of voices. <laughs> one ball, no <laughs> strikes to Tuck. That popped the mitt. That's some nice pop to it. That's an inside corner called strike. No, I say that. Did you see the QR code this past week? I saw it. I haven't watched the video of okay. it, no. Okay. We got I'll leave it at that. Uncle Hattie coming back. I think Bo's doing some stuff with his uh, Eric, brother's family. 1-1. One, one. Oh. Tuck reaches for that one, and that's going to hit the 
batting cage. No, into the oh, bullpen. Nice. Oh. Um, he was aiming for that. I also saw where Eric Rowan got pulled from an indie event, so he's probably come back to WWE. They're probably getting the Wyatt family back together with Bo Dallas as the leader. And Strowman, too. Yep. One ball, two Just strikes. A Just a side note about a little wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. Outside, and it'll be two and two. It just reminded me a while ago. That's why I had to say it. I understand. It's consistent. While I thought about it. You got to get it out while you're thinking about it or you it's forget true. about it. It's true. As the wind picks up, because we are doing a game. But we're not in Emory, though. That's usually our windy place, except for what is going on there. Shucks, Bubba. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. Let's try not to think about it. That's outside full count to Tucker Tittle. So Good West job, Tuck. Weston Pence had uh, been pitching well this inning and was in line for a 1-2-3 inning. I mean, he still could get it, but make it a little more difficult here now with the full count. The earthquake? I, nope. Tuck chops that one. It's a high chopper. Sap fields it, fires to first, but can't get the out. And that would have been a tough play for Peyton Sapp. I'm going to give an infield single to Tucker Tittle there. Me too. I uh, Up next for That would have been a heck of a play if Sapp could have made it. It was a high chopper, and you you got to wait for it to come down. He charged it, did everything he could. but They tried to, to hurry the throw, and it would have been an errant throw anyways. Yeah. Seeing but. a single. I'm going to give him a single on that, though. Yep. Braxton Baker coming to the plate now. He grounded out to third base his first time up to end the first inning. And he's going to be up to bat now. Second time Tuck's been on base tonight. I would say if the wind was out instead of in, I wanted to see a uh, dinger here, BB, but I get it. Well, it's blowing to the left. I we'll, mean, do a, we'll do a nice <laughs> ground ball through one of the holes. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> softball, I can see, is playing on the field over there. I'm not sure who th uh, they may be playing equipment too, honestly. I'm not sure who they're playing, but there's something going on on the softball field. The football field's out behind left field. The trees that you see on the screen. That's the uh, visiting stands behind those for the football field. So yep. that's high for ball one. We've called many a game over there, Jamie. Just a few. Many a game. Had some great food over there. Oh, that's what I was hoping we had in the press Ooh. box tonight. Near them uh, stuffed jalapenos oh, we had that one time. Bubba. Oh, man. Man. Good stuff. <sighs> <laughs> I miss football season. <laughs> Tailgates. Why don't they tailgate for baseball? I mean, well, I was say, I guess you really do, like, I guess colleges do. You do sometimes for pros, but. I do remember, speaking of Quitman, we went out to the Quitman tailgate yeah. uh, before a game that we did there a couple years ago. Yeah. Had some really good food good at the Quitman there, tailgate. Yeah. I forgot about that. Got me a T-shirt. Yeah, you did. We've had some uh, good experiences with Quitman over the years. That's why when we were making the schedule and saw we had an opportunity to do a Harmony Quitman, I was like, heck yeah. Let's wow. do it. Love the people over there in Quitman. Do you remember that locker room show we did in Quitman? Yeah. And then we had uh, literally the entire town. <laughs> yes. That's when Oaks was there, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we had it at Scott's Pharmacy, I think. Yep. 2-0. That's low. 3-0 to Braxton Baker. So Weston yeah, Pence pitching uh, carefully around Brax, which is probably not a bad idea. But on deck, you have Hayden Johnson, who up to this, uh, up to this inning had the only hit of the game. Yes. So... No, there was another hit earlier. I have three. I'm talking about uh, – never mind. Oh, oh I got H it. Hayden got had the first hit of the game. There you go. Braxton swinging on 3-0, fouls it out of play, head ache. See, that's my kind of swing right there, BB. I like it. I don't hate that because you know he's he doesn't want to lose you here, so he's going to have to give you something over the plate. Mm -hmm. And if you can turn on it or put some I think good bat on it. For that one, he was going to lose him there regardless. What? The, oh, man, I just stepped on this wood when I heard that, and I thought the wood was cracking, <laughs> and I had a slight little panic attack. Three, three and one. Runner goes. It's a called strike. Throwdown is not in time. So Tucker Tittle going to swipe second base there. It's not often we see Tuck use the, use the wheels. No, usually we're seeing him uh, on the mound. Yeah. Not mad at it, though. But Versatility is what you call that. That's right. Second uh, full count in a row. Back-to-back -back full counts to Tuck and now to Brax.
big gap over there at second. Yes, sir. Inside called Whoa. strike three. And Brax has got to be careful because he has to go right no, back out there and catch. <laughs> and so he didn't want to argue with the umpire and then get bad calls for his, his no, no, pitcher. No, no. Smart so, thing walks away. We are through three innings. It's one nothing harmony here on NetSN. Top of the fourth inning, about to get underway here in Harmony. It's Drinkwine, Mulliken, and Sap. The 2 3 4 do up for Quitman here, trailing 1 0. Hayden Johnson has uh, been pitching very well. He's only allowed one base runner tonight, and it was on an error. Drinkwine nearly swings out of his shoes on that one for strike one. Drinkwine struck out uh, looking back in the first inning on a nasty breaking ball by Hayden Johnson. He's had a nasty slider working all night. The 1 And gas is working, too. And here we go again, ahead in the count. Yeah, quickly 0-2 to drink wine. Johnson sets up. That's a breaking ball that's hit right back up the middle, and Drinkwine gets his revenge and gets a single, and that'll break up the no-hitter that Hayden Johnson had through three innings. Just one of those hard hit balls right back at you. It's a good piece of hitting by Drinkwine. An ugly Next swing up. on the first pitch. Better Second one you looked at, and that third one, do or die. And you're like, I'll take it. Hit it right back from whence it came. Johnny Mulliken now. He struck out looking for the third out of the inning in the first inning. He's got a runner on Quitman. Their first hit of the night in business here. Down one here in the fourth. Squaring around to bunt, and it's bunted foul for strike one. We'll this see if uh, Quitman can manufacture a run here the same way Harmony did, well, which just seems like what they're trying to do. Yeah, and that's the thing. when you're It's, e it's easy to get one run back. Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, I know that's pretty obvious. Uh, but obvious there. sometimes it's not. The way Johnson was pitching, right. I mean, and Jake Ryder, third base, is creeping in, expecting the bunt. Mulliken squaring around to bunt. He pulls back, throw down to first, but drink wine's back in there. That's one thing I like about Braxton. He ain't he, afraid to throw he it is, either. He is not afraid to let it That's go. Two, the two teams we mainly covered, the catchers, man, they are not afraid to throw anybody down. Mm -mm. I like it. I like you it, can't too. have a hesitation behind the plate. You can't. No. Hezzies are meant for basketball. True. 1-1 one, one in time is called, and Braxton, Hayden Johnson, not on the same page, so BB's going to go out there and talk to his uh, battery. Got to have a little word with him. Yeah. <coughs> I 
again, if you're uh, watching us on YouTube and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Net us in live and go ahead and download the app as well. You can get notifications sent to you on when your team is live. We cover a ton of teams. Yeah. For now, that's good. We cover a ton of teams, though. And if you want, all your, over the place. If you want your team covered, reach out to us yeah. on the Facebook page. So one ball and one strike to Johnny Mulligan. Squaring around and bunting foul again. So now there goes your sacrifice bunt opportunity uh, now with two strikes. I mean, I guess you technically still could, but. If you're good at bunting, I guess you would say, but the two times we've seen Mulligan do it here, he kind of pokes that a little bit. That's why they both went foul. Yeah. I was never a good bunter. I couldn't do it. That's why coach always told me to swing away. <laughs> One, two. Oh, swing and a miss. Throw down to first. Not in time. But it is another punch out for Hayden Johnson. It's the first out here in the fourth inning. Second time that Mulliken has gone down on strikes. And Peyton Sapp will come up to bat now. He struck out looking back in the second inning. He has an opportunity here with Drinkwine at first base. And just one away here in the top half of the fourth. Kona Ice is leaving. We didn't get us a Kona Ice cone. Kona Ice cone? Kona Ice. Snow cone? Snow cone? Wow. That looked like it was outside, but I it's... Th I thought so, too. I thought it was painting that stripe in the other batter box, but oh. that's just me. Brax framed it. It's good work by Brax. No balls in one strike to Peyton Sapp. Now, Jamie, I didn't think about this, uh -huh. but... Ooh. I mean, that was... That was a breaking ball as well that caught the outside corner. Goodness. Um, what I was going to say is I don't uh -huh. think it's not going to matter. I was going to say is the darker it gets, we may lose some lighting up here, but there's plenty of lights around the field that sh we should be fine. No balls in, two strikes to Sap. Johnson gets him swinging again. Reach for it. Second strikeout of the night for Peyton That's Sapp. Second strike strikeout of the peppers. inning for Hayden Johnson. And it's going to bring up the first baseman, Cannon Peppers who flew out to right field his first time up to bat back in the second inning. Drink wine still at first with two outs here in the top half of the fourth. That looked like a little two-seam action from Hayden Johnson on that fastball, and that's a strike. Where was that? We did a game one time when we were on the top of the press box, and it was completely dark, pitch black. We couldn't see nothing. Weren't we on top of the press box? Do you remember that? It was football, though, right? I think so. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, that's oh, right man. by my head. Okay. <laughs> All right. Better be head on a swivel with that one. Yeah, that one, Uh, I mean, let's be honest. It was probably a good 20, 25 feet from me. But still, makes you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Caught my attention. Como Picton is where you were thinking. That's what it is. We were okay. sitting on top of the press yep. box at Como Picton for football, and we couldn't see nothing because the, the, my goodness. Shucks. That's swing and a miss. Strike three. So after Back allowing the, the first hit of the row, game the the for Quitman, Hayden Johnson strikes out the side. And that is how the fourth, top half of the fourth inning will end. We'll be back right here on NetSN.
Bottom of the fourth inning about to get underway here at Eagle Field in Bottom Harmony. Do up for the, the Eagles. The it is the 5-6-7. Hayden Johnson, Lathan Wilkerson, and Blaine Hart. This was the part of the order that led off the second inning when the Eagles scored the lone run of the game. So it's been a good part of the lineup for Harmony. We'll see how Weston Pence does against this part of the lineup for the second time tonight. Or if this part of the lineup gets something else working. We'll see. First pitch is outside for ball one. Both pitchers, Jeremy, have uh, not thrown a ton of pitches tonight. We're looking at, at uh, Pence's pitch count, 43 through three innings right now. It's not bad. No, not through four. We've seen uh, some of these guys close to 80 by now. Yeah, those have been rough games. <laughs> it's been a good one, though. It's been a, a well-played game on both sides. A couple of errors on the board, uh, won by both teams. Not a lot of hits in the game. It's been some good pitching, some good defense. 1-1. One, one. What you would expect from a good district game. Even though yeah. in the standings it's 1-4 well, right now, but still, those are standings. And any Anytime anybody can but have a bad game, a good game, whatever. 2-1. But we know from covering these teams in this district for the past years that yep. these, like, any given night, We've yep. seen yep. where That's what I was saying. we've seen Harmony and Mineola play to a one nothing game that went into extra innings where Harmony went to almost went to state that year and, and Mineola barely made it in the first round. So like this district is tough. It's a tough top to bottom district. That swung on and missed by Johnson as Pence took a little bit off of it. And that's a strikeout. That's going to be Weston Pence's second strikeout of the night. He got Aaron, Braxton looking to end the third and he gets Johnson swinging to begin the fourth. Lathan Wilkerson going to come up to bat now. I guess, well, that's a lie. There is a weak team in the district. Was, Win Winona's down. Winona's was, struggling. Was that back in the day when we saw the hidden ball trick? Yes. <laughs> yes. That was uh, good times. Good times. Yeah, that was fun. Lathan Wilkerson hits it right back up the middle, and there that's going to be a one out single for the Harmony Eagles. To take it. Wilkerson no, with a single up the middle. That'll bring up number eight, Blaine Hart. Blaine Hart going to come up now. He flew out to center field his first time up. But, yeah, we've seen some uh, really good battles in this district. And even um, I remember a couple of years ago we did the Quitman Harmony game in Quitman. Yep. And that one was a good one. Uh, that backstop in Quitman, though. Yeah. That was, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that's when uh, Coach Neighbors was at Quitman, though, uh, when we did that Quitman Harmony game. Um, it was a good game, though. Uh, we've had some good ones over the years involving both these teams. We've obviously covered Harmony a little more because they've – made deep runs in the playoffs. Yes, sir. Ball one. So runner at first with one away here in the bottom of the fourth. Harmony up one nothing. They got that one run across in the second inning on an RBI single by Jake Ryder, who is on deck. Weston Pence taking his time, checking the runner. Now he comes set on the mound. And the 1-0. Oh. oh, that's me. No, oh, it's right behind us, though. Yeah, it is. In the wagon? No. That was close to the wagon, though. That was close to the wagon. <laughs> now that we'll one. We'll just save that one for later. Now that one was a little close. Yeah, no, nobody get that ball. <laughs> hey, if nobody gets it, you see it, Jeremy? I see it. Don't forget where it's at. No, we're it's right by that tree. Yep, we're going to snag us a ball tonight before we leave. Thank you, Harmony. <laughs> Mr. Offen, you can let him know. Let the superintendent know. <laughs> He'll approve. He'll approve. <laughs> one to one, I hope. <laughs> Often approved. Often approved. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ooh, that's chopped to third. Prather got, oh, through the wickets at third base. Jonas Prather, that one was a slow roller right to him, and I think he just tried to lift his glove up, expecting maybe a hop, and it went right under his glove. That's going to be an E5, and Blaine Hart going to reach first base. So two runners on now with just one out, and Jake Ryder coming up to bat with an RBI single back in the second inning. Just an unfortunate turn of events right there for Quitman, Jeremy. What should have been a routine play. <laughs> yep. Man. And even just if like you couldn't get the lead runner, you would at least got the got out at first. somebody. Yeah. Man. It's tough. Well, unfortunate errors. Jake Ryder stepping in. And Ryder hits that to third. Another opportunity for Prather, and he tags. No, the ball comes out. The ball came out when he tried to tag the runner. And 
Coach is getting on to Wilkerson for not sliding because that's what made it a inch. That's another E5, Jeremy. I I mean, I well, it's it is an air. It's a it's a fielder's here, choice is why Ryder reached, but with the E5 on the attempted tag out, he probably should have just went to the bag. I think he, I think he thought he didn't have time to get to the bag. So he was trying to tag the and runner. tried to get Wilkerson and. When he went to tag Wilkerson, the ball just got knocked out. So bases are loaded now for Harmony as the infield comes in for Quitman. Nine-hole hitter Ollie Trimble with an opportunity here. Trimble flew out to left field his first at bat, and he takes that one behind the head for ball one. I will say uh, Coach was getting on him for not sliding, but if he just slid, he would have been out, right? Mm, no, I don't think so. Because then he wouldn't have had a chance to drop the ball. The reason why he ran into him. Yeah, but if he would have slid, he would have had to. Maybe. He would have got under the tag maybe too because his maybe. leg may have got there. Who knows? Who knows? Either way. One ball and no strikes. And that's high and inside for ball two. Nowhere to put Ollie Trimble. So if you're Weston Pinch, you got to go right after him. And then on deck is the top of the order in Boston Seahorn, which even though both him and uh, Young have not had good nights at the plate, they can get it going at any time. I was about to say, any given time they get up there, anything can happen with them. Definitely don't want to give them more opportunities to hurt you. No. 2-0. That's fouled out of play for strike one. Oh, Hello. What did that hit? Is that ball still there? Nope. It's not even got it. Unfortunate, man. We'll get us one. Climb down there and grab that one. All right. <laughs> I don't think this net will hold me. <laughs> Two balls in one strike. That's hit towards third, and it's going to be caught by Prather. He comes home, throws low, and it's dropped. And the run's going to score. Golly. And Wilkerson didn't slide on that one either. Again. He luckily scored. I don't even know, Jeremy, what to put that. It's a fielder's choice for Trimble on how he Everybody reached. Boston Seahorn. I mean, would you put that as an air? I mean, because I, he did drop it at home. I know. There would have been a play at home. It was a low throw, too. I don't know who to. That's still an air, though, regardless of who it goes on, right? You're right. I'm going to put it. I'm just going to put an E there. That's, uh, that's All right. I'm just going <laughs> to put an E. No, it's Boston. Three straight errors by the Quitman defense have. Falling apart here, brother. Loaded up the bases. It's now 2 nothing Eagles. Infield still in for Quitman. And if Weston Pence, Weston Pence needs a uh, double play ball in the worst way here. And he nearly had a, I mean, he gave up a ground ball there. It was just hit in an unfortunate spot where Prather, I mean, it would, the throw would have beat him home. It was just a, kind of a low throw. That's a strike on the inside corner. Just put it in play, Boston. That's all you got to do here, brother. Find you a spot. Being 0 for 2 today, erase it all right here. Trap. One ball, one strike. Boston rips on that one, but it's foul. Strike two. So one, two count. El Jefe is tuned in. Brett El Swinney. Jefe? <laughs> Brett Swinney. El Jefe. He said, sounds good, looks good. Si, sí, senor. Si, sí, senor. One ball, two strikes to Boston Seahorn. Pence, the pitch. Boston fouls that one away, so we'll do it again. Almost like deja vu. All over again. And then deja vu. All over again. Yes, sir. What are you looking at? What happened? I'm looking at the tennis courts, how the outside two courts are lit up, but the middle two courts are dark. Oh, yeah, because the lights didn't come on over there in the middle. Hmm. Interesting. Figured just, they'd all be on the same. Just something that caught my eye. Oh, okay. One, two pitch. Seahorn hits it back up the middle, skits past Sap. One run comes in. And he's Whitworth is going to hold the runner at third. So it's going to be an RBI single for Boston Seahorn. Seahorn brings in number eight, Hart. And that's what you're talking about, Jeremy. That brings William and number two to with the, the infield playing in like that, yep. it made it a more difficult play for Sap. Had the infield be at normal depth, that may have been a double play ball to get out of this inning. But you come in to prevent the run, and then one squeaks past you, and Coach Rogers wants to go out and have a chat with his not a, pitcher, Weston Pence. Not a bad time to have the chat, and also have a chat with the infield coming in as well. Yeah, and I mean, it's, I mean, when you look back at how this inning started, Hayden Johnson struck out swinging. Yes. So it was a good start for uh, Weston. Yes. And then a single by Lathan Wilkerson. No harm, no foul, just a single. But then you had the error. Um, on uh, when Blaine Hart was up to bat. The fielder's choice by Jake Ryder with the error. Yes. The fielder's choice by Ollie Trimble with the error. Yes. And then now an RBI single 
for Boston Seahorn. It's just kind of falling apart here for Quitman here in the fourth inning. That's why I said it's not a bad chat by Coach come out there and talk to him. For one, you kind of calm your players down. Unfortunate things have happened to lead to where we are right now. But, guys, get back on the same page here. Finish this inning. Your bats come back up. Who knows what happens? All right. But you got to finish the inning first. Got to get through this inning, and you, you need a double play ball in the worst way. Uh-oh. Looks like uh, Quitman softball beat Harmony 3-1 to one okay. over at the uh, softball field. Senior night for Harmony, and Quitman came in and spoiled that one, which hmm. is what you want to do if you're playing a team on senior night. Will Young coming up to bat now. He's 0-2 tonight. He's up here with the bases loaded and one away. 3-0 lead now for the Eagles. Will takes low for ball one. Will has popped out to short and grounded out to second in his two at-bats. I have noticed something since Harmony's had all these runners on base. Pence has been a little bit more timid about his pitches. Yeah. Going a lot more balls. Yeah. Trying to really paint the corners, not leave it over the fat part of the plate. That's hit. Sap dives and can't get to that one either. And Whitworth sends the runner around third. And two runs are going to come in. A two-run uh, two double, I should say, for Will Young. It's now 5 nothing Harmony. By Will Young bringing in two Eagles. Up Just like that, three, put another quarter in the carousel, brother. Yeah, Jake Ryder and Ollie Trimble both come in to score. And we talk about this, it seems like every time we do a Harmony game, mm -hmm. this Harmony Eagle team, you can have them down for a while. But when they start rolling like they are now, they are hard to stop. Once, once everybody starts hitting, and again, it's where... If the infield was playing normal depth, that's those probably those plays a, a routine happen. play. Yes. But in the infield's still in, which I get they're trying to stop the run. I guess you don't have a runner at first. You can't really do a double play. But, I mean, you've been burnt with the infield in the past couple of hitters. I, don't, I think I might just I move them back to normal positioning. But Tuck flies that one to center field. Meadows coming on. He'll catch it. Tag at third. We're not going to have a play at the plate. I thought we were. Good job by Clayton Meadows of getting that one in quickly and holding the runner at third. That's now two away. And the ninth two batter of the inning will come two. up. It is Braxton Baker. Up, number 17, Baker. So Brax coming up. Four runs have come across here in this fourth inning for the Harmony Eagles, aided by three Quitman Bulldog errors mm -hmm. in this inning. But that's a sign of a good team capitalizing on another team's mistakes because that's – Literally right before our eyes is what we've seen. Mm -hmm. Pence comes set. First pitch to Brax. It's outside for ball one. Braxton has grounded out to third and struck out looking in his two at-bats. He was actually the first strikeout of the night for Weston Pence. Pence has only struck out two Harmony Eagle batters. His second strikeout actually came to begin this inning. To the man that's on deck. Hayden Johnson. I thought I'd say there ain't nobody on deck. The camera can't see that, though, Jamie. You're supposed to play along with it. Oh. One ball and no strike. I strikes. didn't see nobody. That's why I said that. <laughs> Brax takes strike one there on the nice breaking ball pitch from Pence. Remember, Jeremy, we talked about how Pence had only thrown 40-something pitches? Yeah, look what he's at now. I can't see it because the batter's up. <laughs> one ball. What strike. Is 66. I was waiting for a decent pitch there, so I take the batter away. I'm giving these guys their uh, their name plate up there. I ain't mad at it. Brax hits that one knuckler. under the glove, and Sap. That was a wicked hop that it took off the grass, it, but Sap kept it in front of him. And finally, and this it. inning for is over for the, the Quitman Bulldogs. Five, but four runs come across here, and it is now a five nothing lead for Harmony as we head to the fifth inning of play. We'll be right back here on NetSN.
Welcome back here to Eagle Field in Harmony. It's now 5 nothing Eagles on top of the Bulldogs. Quitman had a rough fourth inning there in the field. Three Quitman errors led to four Harmony runs. And that's how the Harmony Eagles now lead five to nothing. Five, five runs, six hits, one error for Harmony. No runs, one hit, four errors in the game for Quitman. Number nine. Do up. Top of the fifth for Quitman. <laughs> it's the top of the fifth. And uh, it'll be Weston Pence who's going to lead things off. Pence, Crockett, and Wilson, the 6-7-8 do up for Quitman. And you know, Jeremy, this always happens. Weston Pence leading things off here will want to uh, help his team and get some of those runs back here early on. Uh-oh. Oh, because I got you muted. There oh, you are, Bubba. There it is. I was like, <laughs> yeah, you want to atone for what happened while I go, but uh, unfortunate circumstances that happen, and we'll see what Pence can get done here. Yeah, you could tell Pence was getting frustrated out there on the mound with the balls getting underneath the, the infielders because of how they were aligned. So he can make up for it here, the 2-0. Oh, swing and a miss, strike one. But Hayden Johnson was filling himself last inning. He gave up a leadoff single to drink wine in the fourth and then struck out Mulliken, Sap, and Peppers to get out of it. And that's inside ball three. And the 3-1 count to Pence, who reached on an error back in the second inning. But first base has been the only uh, only base to see any Bulldog traffic on it tonight. And what I was going to say is you can't get it all back in one hit right here. No. But that's hit towards right field. Tucker Tittle coming. A dive by the line. And he makes the catch. There you go, Tuck. Tuck's going to be upset. That was not seen on camera. But, Tuck, it was an excellent right catch over there on the right field line. We can't zoom out enough. No. Unfortunately. I should have looked up and grabbed the camera. You should have. That's why Pops needed to be here, so he could control the camera for us. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cameron Crockett going to come up to bat now with one away here in the fifth inning. Crockett struck out swinging back in the second. Eight Ks tonight for Hayden Johnson as that's ball one. Strike one. Okay. Let's make a delayed call on that one. Well, you know. It's getting late in the game. That's what it is. Ooh. Tipped. Tipped. <laughs> one ball and two strikes now here to Crockett. As the wind picks up. Of course. That's outside. It's going to be two and two. So two balls and two strikes here to Cam Crockett. This game, Jeremy, was moving at a pretty good clip that fourth inning and then slowed it down a little bit. 2-2. Two -two. Right down Broadway for strike three, and Crockett looks at it. That's the ninth punch out of the night for Hayden Johnson. Crockett goes down on strikes. That'll bring up number 10, Wilson. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at that either, literally watching that pitch, but I'd at least swung at something there. Yeah. At that point, you got to do something. Jax like Wilson now coming up. I want to say we talked about it all night, though. Hayden Johnson's had his pitches working. Yeah, he has. So Jax Wilson now, he grounded out to short back in the third inning. He takes outside for ball one. Only 60 pitches on the night for Hayden Johnson through four and two-thirds innings. It's a good pitch count. The 1-0. Swung on and missed. Strike one. So you know you're putting in some good work at this point if you're only at barely 60 pitches. Yeah. The wind continues to whip here mm. in harmony. Wind's Temperature's up. 73 degrees. Swung on a missed. The wind's picked up and the temp's cooled off. I ain't mad at it. And it still feels good out here. It's a good it night for baseball. Yes. It looked bad earlier, but it's a good night. Well, Hayden Johnson is 10th punch out of the night. And that goes to Jax Wilson. And, and that'll end, end the top, the top half of the fifth, of the fifth Barrett, inning. Curtis, take us to the bottom. Are they going to do it? They're doing it, too. We'll do it at the same time. Okay. Curtis Grimes, portion of the program, Harmony Zone.
off again. Goodness. It'll be Hayden Johnson, Lathan Wilkerson, and Blaine Hart, the same three that led off that fourth inning where nine Eagles came to the plate. They now lead 5 nothing here in the Curtis Grimes portion of the game, the bottom of the fifth. Jeremy Harmony is the only place that also plays the bottom of the fifth in the bottom of the fifth because well, well, Curtis say. Grimes is a Harmony High School graduate. There you go. Class of 03, maybe? He was on that 03 state championship right. game team. Yeah. Which is hence where the song came from. All right. And that's a legit thing. Hanging curve. Eight outs away from winning state. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Tell him his life story. You should listen to the song if you've never heard it before. <laughs> we just play the first verse. One one. Swung on and missed Oof. by Johnson. He wanted every bit of that. He was trying to get that over the right field wall. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't a hanging curve, <laughs> that was straight gas. That Gouda. <laughs> that Gouda cheese, what that was. Oof. One ball and two strikes to Johnson. All right, then. We'll do it again. Johnson has uh, singled and came around to score back in the second inning. He struck out swinging to begin the last inning. before the next six batters reach space. Johnson bloops that one to shallow left. No, actually, it's shortstop. Okay. I thought it was going further than that, but it's going to be my man Watson over there that catches the pop-up. Equipment shortstop. Up yeah. next for Harmony, first baseman number nine, Lathan Wilkerson. Lathan Wilkerson now coming up. He had a sacrifice butt in the second inning, and he singled and came around to score without getting his jersey dirty in the fourth inning. He refused to slide the entire way. <laughs> Reminds me of someone else I know. Who plays, uh, plays 15 oh. U softball. Oh. <laughs> Her name's Riley Hass. <laughs> she don't slide for nothing. Slide? Nah. <laughs> As a strap. If I, gotta, if I slide and get my uniform dirty, that means mama's got to wash it. She don't care about that. <laughs> 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 Only thing that made that better is if her mama was listening right now. That's or true. watching right now. But she's not. The O one. That's it back up. Oh, nice play by Pence. And he's going to hustle over there and just an underhand toss for the one to three put out. Excellent. I thought it got under his glove. I thought it did too. That's well, that's the way the ball's been rolling for the equipment tonight. It's been under their gloves. But good job for Pence of getting that one. Blaine Hart going to come up to bat now. Oh, Chai is watching. <laughs> she said, I hear you talking about my baby. <laughs> you know it's true though, Shy. She don't she don't slide for nothing. <laughs> the real question is, did Sha slide when she played softball. That's you know the real she question. Did. You know she did. That's what I was going to say earlier if Sha was listening. When uh, we were talking about Brax and Emma throwing down to first. Yeah. I think Sha was uh, one of those behind the plate. She was not afraid to let it she go. Was afraid, or she was not afraid to let it rip either. She she tried to get uh, yeah. she tried to get you. She tried to get the you. The little twitch. Yeah. Fast twitch muscles on that arm. The 1-0. -oh. It's a low 2-0. -oh. But, yeah. Anyway, Sha was a good catcher back in her day. That's what I've heard. Where do you think uh, her daughter's getting from? Well, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't. I know. wasn't around back then to see her play softball way back in the day. Dang, way back in the day. Yeah, that was like 15 years ago. <laughs> Not play. <laughs> <laughs> Swung on a miss for strike one. <laughs> All right, Chad, we'll stop talking about you. Thank you for thank you for watching. Yeah, and appreciate it. Appreciate we appreciate it. that. You brought our uh, viewership up a little bit. We appreciate you. Appreciate you supporting your uh, your guys out here. Yeah. 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 2-1 to Blaine Hart. That's high. 3-1. and one. It's all right. I don't blame Mariah. Going back. I didn't slide either. <laughs> I had bad knees. I didn't want to slide. Bad knees. I didn't want to slide. Catcher. I didn't want to slide. <laughs> Three, one. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> uh, Shy says she showed it slide. Which me. does not surprise me. Look, you see BB down there? That was like me playing. Yeah. That size and everything. And I was that slow. Okay. Well. At bad knees, brother. Let's not talk about speed when we're talking about Cheyenne and the kid. Uh, whoa, I didn't say that. Whoa. <laughs> speed. <laughs> I'm talking about sliding here, brother. Full count. Oh. oh. That's popped up. Ah. And it sounded good off it the did. bat. It's going to be a fly ball out to Wilson there in left. So a one, two, three That's inning. A great way to bounce back for Weston Pence after the Bad fourth inning. He gets a one, two, three, fifth 
And we will head to the sixth inning of play. It's a 5 nothing lead for Harmony here on NetSN. Welcome back here to Eagle Field on the campus of Harmony. Top of the sixth inning, due up for Quitman. They trail 5 0. Due up is the 9 1 2 of Meadows, Watson, and Drinkwine against Hayden Johnson. About to begin his sixth inning of work here. That's a called strike. Meadows grounded out to Wilkerson at first base back in the third inning. The 0 1. Mm, off speed pitch, swung on and missed. And quickly, Johnson up 0-2. Johnson recorded his 10th punch out of the game to end the fifth inning. He has had at least one strikeout in each inning tonight. I really thought that was going to be in there. Nice pop to it. And, Jeremy, I haven't said it all night, but I'm about to say it. What, Bubba? Equipment down there, final six outs. Well, I mean, I would hope you wouldn't set it out. Quit it down to their final 12 outs. <laughs> Quit it down to their final. I mean, what do you <laughs> Yeah, but normally I say it like the fifth or the that's fourth, you know. I waited to the sixth. That's true. I'll give that to you. Just you give did me wait. some credit. You Dang, did, man. You did wait. Thanks. So I'm just trying you to get Patience. That. You're trying to learn patience. I get it. <laughs> Bubba. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's another story for another day. I ain't, I ain't got enough time to talk about that. I ain't got enough patience. <laughs> Payoff pitch right here. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Third punch out in a row. Up another K for Johnson and yep. we flip it to the top. Okay. Number one, Watson. Flip it to the top. It'll be Davis Watson now coming up. He grounded out to first and struck out looking back in the third inning. And, Jeremy, I think uh -huh. every player on the team tonight for Quitman has one strikeout except Weston Pence, the opposing pitcher. Interesting. Interesting, right? I don't know. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to what to make of that. How have his outs come about? Uh, he reached on an error and oh. then flew out to right field. Oh, okay. Ooh, Ooh. that one got away from Johnson. Ooh. Ball one. You but know what, you know what that looked like? Huh? That breaking pitch we saw earlier that never broke. But Hayden Johnson has been struck out by Weston Pence. Okay. So there you go. One and one. Wow. That's it towards second. Trimble fields the slow grounder and a routine toss over to first base for the second out Come of the out inning. Trimble. Next up, number five, drink Here wine. comes Tommy Drinkwine and Jeremy Drinkwine. Yes, sir. Is the lone bulldog to have a hit tonight. And he had that hit his last at bat in the fourth inning. 
Is that lonely one down there? Yep. Because it's the loneliest number. I'm done with you. <laughs> hey, I got your new series to watch. What's that? It's on Prime. You got Prime? Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah. Do you? No. No. My parents do. Oh. I could probably use theirs. Here's the 1 0. What is it? Fallout. I've heard good things. Uh, matter of fact, a guy at work the other day was watching it. Phenomenal. He watched the first episode of season two because wasn't it a new season that just. Watched, this is their first season. Oh, never mind. So okay. it's eight, eight episodes. That's yeah, all yeah, I got yeah. So far. This has been like two years in the making, though. Okay. Well, that's cool. But it's good. It's real good. It's based on a video game. So I that's, it up. that's what I've heard. Great game, though. Been playing it for 20 years. They've had different ones. That ages yourself. Ain't hey. nobody on this field 20 years old. Sorry. <laughs> That's, ooh, Brax thought that was a called strike three, but Start umpire says, no, no. It's my game. Get back here. No, no. Two balls and two strikes to Tommy Drinkwine. Goodness. Looking for a dozen Ks for Hayden Johnson if he can get Drinkwine here. The 2-2. Two -two. Nope. Not on that one. Brax just thought he framed it good earlier. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm sure Shy did a little bit of that too. She thought it was a call third strike. She started just running off. Oh nope. No. Umpire said, er, "Come back." No. <laughs> skr, skr. <laughs> Full count. Johnson, a long look into Brax. Now here we go. Drink wine fouls it off. Tommy doing a good job here, staying alive, Jeremy, and making uh, Johnson throw some pitches. Making the BGs proud. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of loud. Yeah, it's quiet out here, Bubba. <laughs> breaking bit, Ooh. breaking pitch, called strike three. <laughs> Woo, we almost got kicked off air. <laughs> that's a uh, look. At, that's the twelfth punch out of the night. I got ahead of myself. We're headed to the bottom of the six. Let me get off this microphone. We'll be right back. Nope. Bottom of the sixth inning, due up for Harmony. It's the 8-9-1, Jake Ryder, Ollie Trimble, and Boston Seahorn. 5 nothing lead for the Harmony Eagles, looking for their ninth district victory. First pitch swing and Ryder backhand by Sapp, and it's off his glove into the outfield. And E4 right there will put Jake Ryder on first base. He's on base for the third time tonight, Jeremy. He had an RBI right, single in the second. He reached on a fielder's Kennedy choice in the fourth and then reached on an error here in the sixth. So what you're saying is Jake Ryder's been putting in work. He's got a he's got a thousand on base percentage for Take sure. It. Take it. Uh, Ollie Trimble coming up. He has flown out to left and reached on a fielder's choice, came around to score back in the fourth inning. Fifth error of the night, I believe, for Quitman. Took the words right in my mouth. I think that's the story of this game. Trimble lays down a bunt. It's a good bunt. 
and that ball is airmailed into right field, and that's going to score Jake Ryder for sure. And I'll tell you what, Jeremy, Ollie Tribble is at third, and Coach Whitworth is going to hold him up. It's gonna I don't be blame an, him for holding them. It's going to be an E1 right there, an error on Pence. Nice he just Ollie, airmailed Ollie. that one into right field, and there, that's going to bring in Ryder, and it's 6-0 now, and Eagles. And Boston here we go with literally what we were just saying. The errors are going to be the story of this game. Yeah. Because this was a one nothing game before yep. they, all these errors started piling on. Yep. But, like the old cliche we always say, good teams always capitalize on the other team's mistakes. Mm -hmm. This is what you get. Boston Seahorn going to come up to bat now. Fourth time he's come up to the plate tonight. He's one for three. He grounded out to short, flew out to right, and he had an RBI single his last time up to bat, but he was stranded at third base to end the inning. He's got a cousin, Trimble, Seahorn, yeah, Trimble. So. He's got his cousin over at third base. Ball one to Boston. If I remember that correctly, right? In the with the I word think we so. always said, I think the, and, I think and the Trimbles and Seahorns. I know they're I'm, yeah, they're somewhere related. down the line. Yeah. They're related. It's hard to keep up with it. Oh, that one. That was a crazy oh, pitch. Here comes Trimble. He's going to score. That sucker bounced in front of the batter's box and then went the opposite way. It had massive spin on it. So a wild pitch right there will score another run for Harmony. It's now 7-0. to zero. Mm. In the 2-0 count. Bases are empty now, though. Boston steps out. Okay. Yeah, drop big time, Bubba. We can't. This, <laughs> the further this game got away, that, that number said. Boston pops that one out of play. Bow. Boston. Now, Jeremy. Yeah. I, I don't know. Remember, I'm I'm in up here. Do you know the? Uh, is it ten after five? Okay. If they, yeah. I mean, there's. Well, there's no outs. There's no outs. There's no outs, yeah. no outs in the top of the order. That's the only reason I brought it up. I got you. Two one. Boston fouls that one off. I didn't. I just know some districts are different. I didn't know if this one was still a 10, 10 after five one. Because in the rains one for softball, it's like it's fifteen after three, twelve after four, ten after five. In that district, it's different for different ones. Yeah, that sucker, it's different bro. It's different. just you. Like that's that's. They're <laughs> gone. Everybody else gone. Two two. I'm going to close it out then. Yeah. Not, yeah. No. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Seahorn rips that one to left field, and it's actually going to – Wilson cuts it off. Seahorn rounds first. He's going to be in with a stand-up double for Boston Seahorn. I think that last at bat kind of awoken the bats for Seahorn there. Yeah. Let's see if Will Young can continue and uh, get him a hit here. Seahorn out at second base now. Still nobody out. Here comes Will Young. Will Young had a two-run double back in the fourth inning. He's also grounded out to second and popped out to short in his two at-bats. Three at-bats, I should say. That's why him and Boston were struggling in the beginning. They just had to see it happen. You get a hit, now it comes to life. You know? Yeah. First pitch. Oh, I hit the light pole again. Is this the second time we've had a light pole hit tonight? Mm-hmm. What is going on? What's in the water over here in Ronesboro? Ronesboro. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the only reason I know that? Snapchat. When I tried to t when I took a Snapchat out here for a football game one time, I swiped over for the location and it said Ronesboro. I'm like, I didn't even know that was that was a place. The O one. Outside. Ball one. Pretty uh easy trip for uh, equipment though, right down highway one fifty four. Not too bad. Go east on 154 from Quitman. There was a uh, gas station we stopped at had a Ronesboro sign one time. That's how I saw it. Really? Yeah. I think it's on the right on the outskirts. Is of it town. the one that we stopped at today? Maybe the one or the one before that. I think it's the one before that. Swung and a miss by Will Young. Strike two. That's the only reason why I knew. Yeah. I think I may have seen that too. It's well, like welcome to Ronesboro, whatever, and I'm like, yeah. Ronesboro. Ronesboro. What's Ronesboro? I thought this was Harmony. Heard of Winsboro, Wattsboro, Brownsboro. <laughs> Ain't no Ronesboro. All these boroughs everywhere. <laughs> Pottsboro. 
One two pitch on the way from Pence. Runner goes. Ball is fouled. And then it hits the light pole again. Dude, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's attracted to the light pole. <laughs> like moss. Like moss to light. Right <laughs> That's why I said that. <laughs> what in the world is happening, man? <clears throat> but Will Young staying alive here. Ah. Put in work. Ah. That's why we lost all of our viewers right there. <laughs> now, not the fact that it's not seven nothing right now. That's not it. Oh, never mind. We haven't lost all of them. One, oh. two. Oh, oh, that one nearly. Oh, it does oh, it hit, hit Willie. It did hit. It hit him. Will says it didn't hit him. I he think he, said, he thought he jumped over it, but I think it hit. Like Young gets hit by the pitch. That'll bring up number three, Tucker Tittle. All right, so Will Young will be at first base. Yeah, I say uh, I say we still got one because uh, I just got a text that said, I cannot with y'all. So <laughs> thank you for still watching. Who was that? Who do you think? Oh. The uh, Coach Rogers is going to come out and talk to his pitcher, who's up to 97 pitches, and that will be the end of the line here in the sixth inning. So we're going to have a pitching change. We'll talk all about it when we come back here on NetSN. All right, Jeremy, I got to be professional. We're being we're being watched. Are we? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> just kidding. Just giving her a hard time. All right. And Tucker Tittle is going to come in to bat. He'll be next due up. The new pitcher 
for Quitman is Peyton Sapp. They've uh, moved Peyton Sapp from second base to pitcher. They moved Cam Crockett from catcher to second base, and they brought Mason Williams off the bench to catch. No. no. Prather's at second. Crockett's, Crockett's at, third. at third. There you go. They say, swapped Prather three. and Crockett. Yep. Runner goes. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Sorry, I said I was going to be professional. <clears throat> both <clears throat> of the runners go. Both, both of the runners have Advance. now advanced uh, up 90 feet. 1 0 count to Tuck. Again, since we're in the sixth inning, if Harmony. Whoops. Well, that's going to be fielded by Sap. <laughs> Throw it over to first. We got a little pickle deal. And throw back to second, and the run's going to score. Throw down to third that gets past the third baseman, and another run's going to score. Oh, my. You had the two fastest oh players my. on the team out there, and all it took was an error throw, and both of them score. Mm. Shucks, Bubba. Well, it shouldn't have been thrown. You don't throw back behind the runner <laughs> anyway with a runner at third base. And that got thrown back behind the runner, and then another uh, another error for Quitman. It's now nine nothing with Braxton Baker up, and he represents the winning run. If uh, if Harmony scores one more run here in this inning, it'll be a ten nothing victory in six innings for the Harmony Eagles. First pitch hits Brax right in the back. Goodness. What the heck? Brackson <laughs> <laughs> so. gets hit by the pitch. That'll so bring up number 12, Hayden Johnson. All righty. Thanks for the update. Hayden Johnson coming up the bat now. <laughs> Brax is the winning run over there at first base. Quitman's hoping for a double play ball here so they can come up to bat one more time. Possibly. I don't think it's a DP. True. They can. And then you never know what can happen. All you need is an opportunity. Oh, yeah? That's what they say. Okay. One ball and one strike to Hayden Johnson. Runner goes. Johnson hits it to right field, and it's going to drop. Brax, round second. He's motoring to third. It'll be a one out. No, Brax is going to head home. The ball's dropped at second, and that's going to do it. Braxton Baker scores. And that's a uh, run, and it is 10 nothing. That's going to be the final. We'll give Hayden Johnson a single just to add another hit in there. But 10 nothing is going to be the final here for the Harmony Eagles over the Quitman Bulldogs. And Jeremy, before uh, yes, sir. Before we get out of here, what's your uh, final thoughts here on this game? Too many errors. I don't know if you can see on that screen as you take a picture there, but that's seven, brother. Yeah, seven. It's a lot of errors, man. It was a and a lot of them came in one inning. Truthfully, yeah, they've had some throughout that have happened, but man, I think if you're, we'll talk about the equipment side first. Yes. Seven errors. That's that's, that's tough. tough to win any game with seven errors, um, but. I think you have a lot of positives to build on. You do. You did a lot of good things in this game. You you fought a top-ranked Harmony team tooth and nail. It got away from you in a couple of innings. But I think you take away those couple of innings, this is maybe a one nothing, 2 nothing game. It's a one nothing game all the way through the third until they get to the bottom of the fourth. And Harmony, I don't know, unroutine plays for equipment happened in that and caused, what was it, three or four errors in that Three one. errors in one inning, yeah. And... From then on, it just it seemed to spiral even more as the game went on. And, yeah. Uh, but what's crazy is Pence battled back in that next inning and had a one-two-three inning. Exactly. So I I don't know. It was it was kind of like a uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde right there, and back and forth. And then Harmony puts up five runs in this one. So yeah, Aaron it throws, but you can't have that and play a good team and and uh, especially seven errors and expect to come away with with a win on that one. That's a tough one. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. It's a, a tough night. But then for Harmony, they are now moved to nine and zero yes. in District 13 3A, and uh, kind of control their own destiny. Like we said, if they can uh, beat this equipment team Friday, they essentially wrap up the district crown with yes. two games left to play. They own the tiebreaker over Winsboro, 
So essentially wraps it up, but excellent job by Harmony battling through that those first three innings they couldn't really get anything going against couldn't get no traction Weston. and even even the great the great batters we talked about boston we talked about will young we talked about some of these guys that are normally on base have great on base percentage yeah. struggled in these first innings and then yeah. finally started getting things working so that's a sign of a good team battling through adversity resiliency and uh, able to get there our next broadcast for me and jeremy will be thursday so we get tomorrow off then we'll be back on the airwaves thursday for our final softball game of the regular season yeah. The Reigns Lady Cats taking on the Lone Oak Lady Buffs. It's senior night for the Lady Cats. Senior. So we'll be uh, celebrating them. But make sure you tune in for that first pitch at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Make sure you follow us on uh, YouTube, on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, <laughs> WhatsApp. X. OF. No, I'm just kidding. And so we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll be back on air Thursday, though. So make sure you uh, tune in then. Our final score again, Harmony 10, Quitman 0 for JT. Jeremy Titsworth, I'm K.O. Kahlo, and you've been listening to High School Baseball here on